Okay, so the last one here we want to look at, uh, we just want to set up and then we're going to use technology. I mean, you'll find that for a lot of the homework problems uh, in this section, uh, this is how you're asked to do them. Set them up, so give them the integral that you would use, and then compute that integral. So here we have y equals cosine x on the interval for 0 to pi over 2. So that's the function we want to find the surface area of its solid of revolution. So uh, y prime, we need to compute that, derivative of cosine, which would be negative sine x. So the surface area will be the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 2 pi times my function times the square root of 1 plus the derivative squared. So negative sine squared would actually just be positive sine squared x dx. Okay. And uh, we're off to go. And so at this point we want to pull out our technology all right, because this does not look good. All right. We could let u be sine. We could do that, let u be sine, and then du would be absorbed as cosine. That would leave us with the square root of 1 plus u squared. And then where would we go from there? Square root of 1 plus u squared. Right. Then we ask the question, where would we go from there? Well, later on, we'll be able to deal with that, and we'll be able to address that, and actually work out an integral involving one plus square root of one plus u squared. Okay? So we'll be able to do that, but uh you know for now we're kind of nah, there's nothing we can do. So we're just gonna go straight to technology here. So I'm just gonna pull up my Fn int. Again leave the pi part out. Uh actually we can actually even include the pi here since we're just approximating it. So 2 pi times my f in it, integral from 0 to pi over 2 of cosine x square root 1 plus sine x squared. Oops, delete that. Let's be sine of x squared. Okay, and then we just compute that. And we get that at 7.21. 7.21, approximately. 7.21 uh, square units again because it is volume. Okay, so uh, again, for a lot of these, we'll just be going through setting them up and then using your FN to approximate. Okay, for the homework, if you don't have FN int, if you don't have a graphing calculator and FN int, then you can use uh, the Wolfram Alpha. Uh, I just go to the website Wolfram Alpha and then choose calculus and definite integrals. Uh, and you can see here, I, well, it's, yeah, still remembers it here. Uh, that I evaluated that uh, problem there. And it actually tells you uh, a function that uh, it actually gives you an exact answer. This thing here, sin h to minus 1, is the inverse hyperbolic sine function. We might talk a little bit about that later on. Uh, but uh, you can see 7.2118 as well. Okay, so hopefully this helps you out, gets you kind of going on these problems. 
Again, so many of the surface area ones we either can't do right now because we don't have the integration techniques, or even if we have integration techniques, it still leads to something we can't really even do. Um, but thankfully, we have technology that we can use to approximate these things.